Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. You already know what it is, so here we go. Um, first thing I need to do is travel to the uh, Hyde's Ruin, because there's a quick item I want to pick up. I haven't been making any videos lately, just mainly because I've been burnt out on Dark Souls 2 a little bit after getting all of the achievements. A thousand G, this bad boy. After almost a hundred hours with my main character. So I might be a little bit rusty as well, as you can see. Yep. Hell of a rusty. Alright, let's just go rest back at that bomb wire. Did I level up enough to get... Yeah, I've got the Drown Lake shield on. That's good. Alright, let's tackle this properly, shall we? Go behind him, circle round, that should not have happened. I'll whack the bastard a few times, or miss. Okay, don't roll for me then. There we go. Just died. Thank you. What's this? Ah, oh, crap, Blue Island. I don't need them yet. And this is the guy who I would like to kill. Throw some lightning spears at the bastard. That was a bit close. I need a faster casting speed. Um, yeah, I'll pick up his item in a second. We've got this here. It's just um, a human effigy. He doesn't fight us, so... Boom. Lloyd's, Tal Ta Lloyd's a Talisman, I believe. Yes. Here we go. Pick up that. The Sublime Bone Dust. Now that means that we can go to plus one on our Ector Shard. That is something that I forgot to do. So back to Majula. Have a sip of coffee in the loading screen. long loading screen and then we burn our sublime bone dust here and has strengthened the ectus flask yay yeah come on thank you all right what do we want to do now we want to go to the cardinal tower because we're going to travel to the last i think it's the last or the lost i don't know the last bastille yeah, that's where we want to go. So, here we go. Um, here we go. Slide down here. Jump off. It's that way we want to go, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I'm so slow with this armor on now. I might have to switch it up. And I've been doing some um, like dex builds off camera, so I'm like really light. I've got a character who's dual wielding daggers at the moment and rapiers, rapiers, rapers, not rapists, uh, rapiers. I believe they are. Are you still following me? Just die, would you? Oh, put your shield up. Yep. That actually worked. I watched in my last video, I was having a lot of trouble getting those shield bashes off. And we want to get scooped up by this crow, eagle, delta, whatever way. And another loading screen. So here we are. It just throws us down. Which is nice. What is it? Yeah, the lost Bastille. There we go. Uh, quickly. 
and light the bonfire. And there's two little paths you can take here. That's the way you you would initially go. But you don't want to fall off the edge, first of all, like I almost did. If we come through here, there's a guy here. Zap that bastard in the back. Is there another one? Nope, there's not another one. But we have here. Radiant Life Gem, and that's where we're going. We're going over there to get that little chest over there by my head. But you don't want to drop down. Because what we can do here is see all these doggies down there. See all these doggies. I think if we make some noise. Nope. Are you going to... Or are you just going to wander around? Come on, aggro to me. Please aggro to me. Come on. Oh. Right, well, they're not going to aggro to me. Oh, maybe they are. This is what you do. Whee! Walk back a little bit so you don't get hit by the explosion. And then that just takes out all the dogs. Yeah. Pretty neat. Uh, another soul. So, yeah, that's why you don't drop down that way. Because you come in here and then there's two guys up there with crossbows and three dogs down there. So, you just don't want to deal with them. So we come over here, I believe it's a key and the silver serpent ring. Yeah. The antiquated sea and the covenant coveted silver serpent ring. We want to pop that on. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to switch up my armor a bit, don't I? Do I have any lighter leggings? I want to go down to about oh, just under 50. Why is that so high? Archstrike. Import a tunic. How does that look with it? Nah. Nah. Tell you what. I'll stick with the Elite Knight just for the time being. Oh, yeah. And I said in the last video that um, I can't remember the guy who sells you the crap. The armor guy. But it's. I think. I believe it's not 6,000. It's like 16,000 or something like that. Souls that you need to get his next set of armor which I'll be wearing after this because I'm so used to having light armor now this guy has got huge spikes, he also has a grab attack which is not going to show off for me and they can also fire pyromancy at you as well, which is like little fireballs now this is why you want to get the key so we can come in here and meet Look at it. I don't know you. Yeah, you don't know me, blah de blah. <laughs> Just carry on talking to no, you really and Sheila. I'm called Luke from the Lake. Tell her the her name the there, Luke Till, she's you from Mira. And so I blah blah blah. You are an odd one indeed. I've well you've made a I can see that you are mid journey. I come from Mira, Mira a land, land of the nights. nights. My don't sword is always call. ready. You are well you There we go, that's her last bit of dialogue. You just speak to her so you can get to summon her for a boss and she is also part of a side quest in the game that nets you an achievement or a trophy or steam achievement, whatever they are on the PCs. So we want to quickly turn around, come up here and a large Titanite Shard, which is helpful for upgrading. So that means we can go to plus four, I believe. Roll through there. Now here, that is the way we need to go. Over there. This way. Yeah. But I'm not going to. Is that... What can I see down there? Is that the bonfire swirling around? I don't know. That white... Down by that enemy, far at the end there. I've only just noticed that. Oh, what? Alright. Kill this guy. I thought I rolled through that. Oh well. It missed. If he hit me with that, I probably would have went off the edge. Get a life gem going. Oh, one thing I am thinking. I am thinking of getting my um, attunement up a bit more so I can equip a healing spell instead of using bloody life gems and extra plus a lot of times when I don't really need to use them. This here is a. Oh, come on, die dog. Not the item. It's not it's gold pine resin. It's quite useful. I can use it on this sword to increase its lightning damage. But here, if you have a little bit of trouble with that room, you can just stand here. And if you're like magic user, you know, even if you're using a crossbow or something, 
So you can aggro them to go up to the door. Now, do I still have my... No, let me just... Uh, why do I... Oh, yeah, it's because it's... Uh, oh, I already am plus four. Huh, I thought I was only plus three. Alright, where are my binoculars? I really need to sort out this. And that light crossbow, I can now use the light crossbow, actually. So, get me but not Oh, he's running away. Where are you going? You going back there? Oh, yeah? Okay. I should be able to... If he doesn't decide to run back up the stairs. Boom. Oh, he didn't die. It's a little bit... Oh, bollocks. That's a waste of a lightning spear. Now I can just pop him off here. Boom. There we go. Makes that room a little bit easier. Now here, we want to... Yep. Get him away from that barrel. Because we're going to use that in a second. What's he lunging at me from there for? There we go. And this... Right, when he kicks a barrel, he kicks it off to the side. If you just walk into it, it will roll down. And boom! Blow open a door for you. Which just gives you early access to an area. And another bonfire. Surprised that other dog didn't attack me. We can't go that way yet. And I'm not too keen on exploring this entire area yet. I'm just going to go through and get it all and over and done with. So what we want to do here is light this bonfire. And there's lots of chests and everything in here, but we're just going to talk to this guy first. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? He is obviously hallucinating about something. So what we need to do is not sit at it. Oh, God damn it. I mean, it's got to fight all of them again. Oh, well. What we wanted to do is light our torch. And we light a torch. Come through here. Boom. Like that. Right. Put the torch away. Now we have to rest at the bonfire. We could have done it. We were sitting away. And as you can see, he's moved. Because his, the, the light made him move. I don't know. But now he talks about... We've got a wild one here. Shape it, yep. Ooh, you keep talking to him, and he talks about oh, he needs I a flame because he's sitting next to flame. it, and then a new ember, I which we can't get yet because you have to go through another area. Right here, we just have I think you have a bunch of um like upgrade materials. You get like iron, iron arrows, iron crossbow bolts as well. I think, yeah. Just you know, stuff a blacksmith would keep in his smithy stuff for upgrading all of that good stuff yeah heavy bolts there you go and this was one he was sitting on so you can't get this one unless he moves and you get his hammer which I could use and a twinkle and titan on it because I want to switch up weapons I don't want to be using the high knight sword through the entire game where is that hammer there it is. You need 20 strength to use it. I can use it in two hands. I don't know how good it would be for a weapon, but you know, I could always infuse it with lightning. Why is it? It's uh, where's my damage statistics? Probably uh, there. It's weapon two. Uh, that one there. Uh, yeah. Mm, two, two, one. If we go back to hide knight. C, 271. Just because of the uh, lightning scaling I've got. Now I've got to go back through and kill all of these. It won't be too bad. Or will it? Oh yeah. Um, I believe that's bleed. The dogs build up on you. And yeah, if you can't manage to get that to smash, there's a certain key which we'll be picking up later, which you can use to open up that door. And then obviously it goes in. Yeah, if you can never get him not to break that barrel, or if you want to actually just open the door properly. Circle around, and that other dog, that dog is aggroed. So, let's just poke this dog. There we go. Ow! I might die here. I might die. Nope. I'm all good. I'm all good. 
I don't mind using life gems because at a certain point you can just buy unlimited quantities of the smaller ones. Oh, fuck here yeah, now, that's all going to effect. I was still recovering from the life gems though, so that's nice. Missed me. Yeah, these barrels all the way along here, they explode. Like the one that you kick down. Or the ones that we uh, set off in the area. If you hit them with fire or like attack the wall next to them when you destroy them. Because the spark will set off like the gunpowder which is inside them or something like that. So. Killed him before he attacked us. Ah, oh, the great machete. That's the weapon he's using. I've never really used it before. So I don't really like using pole arms that much or scythes. Because they're just, well, in my eyes they're just not that good. So we want to come up here. This is the area that we had before, but there's a little trick. Which I'm going to do because I don't want to have to deal with this room. When you come in, that door on the left opens. Three guys run at you. We run down here. You don't want to open that door on the right that I just passed because it's just a door to the bottomless pit which is out there. We come up this ladder. I don't think these guys can follow us up the ladder. Can they? Are they going to climb up? No. I know they can climb ladders, but it doesn't look like these ones are programmed to. But when you get up here, there is a couple of guys here. They're a pain in the ass because they have extremely long range and they do quite high damage for this area. See? And I've got another one coming at me. Can I change him in with that attack? No, I can't. Pop a nectar, so I'm going to die here though, which is fucking brilliant. Yep, see, first death of the game, because these enemies are fucking assholes. That don't matter anyway, I won't go for a deathless run. Because I already know, I've found out what the item, what the ring does when you get a deathless run of the game. It's just a ring that makes you your right hand weapon invisible. It just gives you hidden weapon permanently on the right hand. Right, so to save me going through all of that, running through all that again, I'm just going to cut it. So, see you guys in a second.
And here we are. Taking care of that a lot smarter this time. I just used up my lightning spears. Right, now what we would like to do is use a human effigy to become human again. Uh, let's stick a amber herb on. Just to see how much of that restores. It goes up to eight. Uh, yeah, I can do with eight lightning spears for this boss. But right, I don't know if there's any items in these areas. Let's just check anyway. Oh yeah, this is the reason why I don't run through that way. Yeah. Lots of people. So, and if you ever, like, if you open that lever, it opens up this gate. Then so, if you die on the next boss and decide to come through that bottom way, this gate will still be open, so they will all charge at you coming through. Yeah, so what we want to do here is, oh, there is an item in here with a, I didn't know that. So we come in here, pick up the Radiant Life Gems, which is nice. I might equip them on my, oh, I've got six of them anyway. I'll equip them onto the hotbar. And here we have Pilgrim, is that Belle Claire? Belly Claire? Something like that. I don't know. Belle Claire. Yeah, there you go. Who is a sorceress? And a pretty badass one like that. Does she have two? I know, she's got a chime as well. And that's the staff of a mana she's using. So we want to come in here. Into the mist. She just... Oh, she's attacking shit. Don't fall off the edge. Should have really used my lightning pine resin. Oh well. I had a lot of trouble with these guys using my dex build. Yeah, she. Oh, really? Are you gonna jump back up? Come jump back up. Thank you. I thought I was out of the hitbox of that. Oh well. Oh, I'm lucky. Yeah, luckily the attacks of these guys aren't really like that accurate. They just go over your head a lot of the time. Oh, she went down. Oh, it's. Well. Oh, really? Where's the other guy? I don't know. But. And now I'm down as well. I'm going to get hit in the back. Yep. Now I'm dead. Uh, please don't throw your shield at me. Oh, now they're both aggro to me. That's nice, actually. So just let her just spam these guys out. I should be able to take on this guy if he drop if this bloody ruin sentinel drops his. Oh fuck me! I forgot about the attack range on these guys. Or are you just gonna? Okay, You're gonna let me heal. It's always nice. Now we throw a lightning spear. Boom! Almost killed this one. Come on, are you gonna drop your shield? Thank you. Now let's go help out. Bell Claire over here. Would be nice to keep her alive. But she's going to die anyway. Go on, throw your shield for me so it make this fight a little bit easier. Go on, keep your aggro on me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. She's got some pretty nice spells. I should be able to finish it off here. Boom. There we go. As I say... Not much point not using the AI summons. Some bosses, they're just more of a hindrance. But on bosses like these, you kind of would be nice to have them. Right, what I'm doing here is checking for hidden walls. This room has quite a few of them. Ah, coffee. Uh, there is a. Is there another one in this room? Because I know that some of in one of these rooms, there is another. There's like a hidden door that goes into a hidden door. So, up oh, chest. There you go. There's a hidden door up there. What do we get out of this? Hush, hush. 
Uh, so sorcery that makes it so you make no noise whatsoever. Homeward bone. I'm not a hundred percent sure if you. Could, I've never tried opening those doors whilst doing the boss battle. I've never tried, so I wouldn't know. All right, there should be some more. One there. I'll come back and check them all up because I've opened them all. One there. One there. Just tapping A everywhere. Nope, there we go. So this one has a, another chest in it. A target shield. Um, I believe that's a parrying shield. A small shield. I think this is one that has another. Nope, this is just a... Empty room. And I can hear footsteps. What do we have here? Oh, a rusted coin. Rusted coins increase your luck. It's meant to say they increase your luck, which they do. They basically just increases your item discovery. So if you're like uh, farming certain area, like certain a certain area, if you want to say like a weapon to drop that you haven't managed to get to drop yet. So you do that, use a rusted coin, like put the hat on that I'm wearing, or there's another hat in the game called the Jester's Hat. And then there's a gold serpent ring as well, along with the silver serpent ring. But the gold serpent ring increases your item discovery. You want to sprint through here because there's a bastard trap there. Boom. Brilliant. Right. Uh, quick question. Quick question, Drew. Quick question you got to ask yourself here. Do you have another ferrous lockstone? Yes, you do. Yay, that means we can actually do what I want to do next. whoop de fricking do Anyway. Here's the next bonfire. 37,000. Uh, we want to go back to Majola quickly and. <laughs> upgrade. What do I want to upgrade? I want to. Upgrade my tunement. Yeah. I'll right, level up my attunement so I can get. Oh, I might as well go to 10 vitality. Endurance. I could do with some more stamina, but. Uh, where is my attunement slots? There, you need 13. The strength it doesn't go up in twos. You need 13. Oh, my agility goes up through that as well, so that's nice. So I don't really need adaptability. So 13, and then it's 16 for free. So, I'll go to two slots, and then I'll stick my endurance up so I can get some more stamina. It's nice. There we go. Ten across the boards and all of that. One thing that I do when I'm playing Souls games, so, especially Dark Souls 2, I don't level up my vitality. I believe it's vitality anyway. The stat that levels up your health. Because I just don't feel the need to level up my health. I like getting through like with better armor and all that. And plus your health HP goes up by I think it's two each time you level up on any other stat. But the most HP I normally go to on vitality is twenty. Cause then that's when it starts getting diminishing returns, I believe. Oh I had a burp coming. Oh, right. Um Ah, oh, shit, yeah, no, I wanted to... I don't want to upgrade anything yet, actually. I want to... Rune Sentinel Soul. Do I need that for anything? No, that just gives you um, a homing soul spell. Yeah, homing soul missile. Missile or something like that. We want to... Pop all of these. Yeah, you don't get much for using the Rune Sentinel Soul either. 6,000. 6, I could upgrade something, but I want to come in here and. I'm glad. I guess you're glad to see I'm okay. Purchase the rest of these just to get some more money into him. Now, the question is. Thanks for. Is that enough? I'm not 100% sure. Let's just go back. 
thrust at the bonfire. Because he moves position again after, like, each time you reach the limit on how much, um, like, money you spent with him. He goes and sits in another area. No, nope, I still haven't done I'm it. Uh, I'll just use the rest of my souls on him. Let's just use the rest of my souls. Uh, I might as well buy another one of them. Or... The falcon in her armor. That's a lot lighter. Yeah, I'll use that just in case. Um, I'll keep the elite knight leggings. But let's just buy stuff until I run out of souls. Just random bits and pieces here and there. Um, how much have I got? Uh, what's the most expensive? There we go. Thanks. For that should now be enough. I say should. I'm hoping it's enough. Rest of the bonfire again, just to reset him. And then hopefully that should do. And then that will be that for this episode. Oh yeah. Yep, there we go. Now he's a cocky bastard. Um, sorry, have we met? Oh, sorry. It's just I've been awfully busy lately. Care to look over my wares? Please, be my guest. I upgraded my stock recently. Recently, yeah, blah, blah. Now he has the... Where is it? Here we go. The Alva armor. Which is a light-ish armor. Slightly heavier than the Falcon here. But it's pretty good. It's, yeah, 15 poise. It's the same amount of poise as the Elite Knight armor. But even though poise doesn't really fucking matter in this game anymore now. Unless they've patched it out. I don't know. I ain't really near the patch notes lately. But now he's got that. Are you sure? But what we can do now is... Uh, to save me having to die again. We just use a use the dark sign. Which... I've only got 223. So it doesn't really matter. The dark sign. Remove... Uh, acts as a home with bone. But gets rid of all of your souls. So, we want to use it with him, because, to finish off his little um, story arc, I don't think you get an achievement, or a trophy, for, trophy from it, but to finish off his little story arc, you come back here with zero souls. You need armour? Go ahead. And then you In talk to him. spot of bother, are we? Here, take this. My compliments. You get the Aurorus. Aurora's armor. Are you sure? But this is the translucent, translucent version of it. It's see-through, but it's a set of armor that increase raises your equipment load, but it doesn't raise your equipment load enough to counter the burden of how much the armor wears. I believe. Yeah, the armor weighs, but as you can see, it's clear. It's see-through. But I believe the um, normal version of this armor, the armor that you can actually see, is pretty good. Right, so what we want to do is we want to get the falconer armor. Hey, look at that. It's actually better than the falconer armor for defense-wise, but it doesn't give us any... Well, I say poise, but I don't want to be running around like a naked guy. I would love to be able to get that armor, but it's a New Game Plus only armor. Or you have to spawn a certain... Yeah, you have to spawn in a certain enemy. By either going into New Game Plus in an area. Or getting a... Um, using a bonfire aesthetic. But I'll use the uh, gauntlets. Just mainly because... The other gauntlets I've got are incredibly heavy. And they all take me into the 60s. So, even though the armor... That goes quite well with it it all takes me into the 60s and also if I were to have the elite knight armor on as well that's the same so I want to keep 
the falconeer armor quick for the time being and that will be that I'm gonna do some item management get rid of all these fucking armors and item and everything in my inventory which I don't currently need or use so I'm gonna do that off camera and yeah I shall um, speed you guys later and hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, uh, 37 minutes almost but it won't be that long so we cut the bit out so yeah right